For the first time, the government has announced that qualifying parents will not have to wait to receive money from child tax credits every year. Now, the IRS will start making monthly payments directly to taxpayers beginning this summer. A lot of families have questions about this. So we wanted to bring in a financial professional, Brian Levy from BML Wealth Management, to find out how this all works, how this process works, and who's eligible. Brian, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Let's start off with the basics. What do families need to know about these new credits? Can you break it down for us? Uh, absolutely. So if you have a child under the age of uh, 18, you want to put your coffee down and, and listen up. So as a part of the American Rescue Plan, uh, starting July 15th, any child under the age of six, you'll receive a $300 per month credit, excuse me, payment. Mm -hmm. uh, and if they're between the ages of six and 18, six and 17, I should say, you're going to get $250 per month. Like you said, it's unprecedented. Uh, you're going to get monthly deposits starting July 15th. And because it's a, we're kind of halfway through the year and it's a partial year, the government's going to give us a credit for the remainder that we missed for the first half of the year. Uh, this is a big deal. It's a, imagine how many, if you have a lot of children, it could be a big number every month. Uh, it's going to help a lot of people. It is fully refundable as well. What that means, uh, it's kind of unbelievable. What that means, if you have no income, they're going to they're going to essentially cut you a check at the end of the year. So you don't even have to have taxable income for this to come into play. Uh, but don't be so quick. Not everybody may get it. Uh, if you earn over seventy five thousand dollars as a single filer for your tax return or one hundred and fifty thousand as a joint filer, it starts to phase out. So the higher income earners aren't necessarily going to get the tax credit. Uh, and one of the things to keep an eye out for, the IRS is going to come out with a tool. If you remember, just like they did for all the stimulus checks where you can uh, check get my payment, uh, mm -hmm. they're going to have those similar tools put out for you to check to see if you're eligible to receive these monthly deposits. All right. Well, some, you know, tax time is something that can be a little bit stressful, but you recommended something we should be thinking about tax planning year round, not just during tax season. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So we all know yesterday was kind of the extended tax deadline, May 17th. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I I think we're all still feeling the pain, but yet the reality is you should be as, as a financial advisor, we tell our clients year round tax planning is so important for a lot of different reasons. You know, number one, there's not a lot you could do after the calendar year is over. There's only a minimal amount of things you can do, um, but a perfect example. So I'm a small business owner. This year we explored tax credits with our CPA firm for employee retention and those types of things. And if I, would, if I was to wait to the last minute, like most of us do, uh, it makes it a challenge because you don't have the time to be able to research those things. You need time to look at, can I qualify for certain tax credits, certain deductions for you to do some research, uh, but also timing your expenses is a great um, tool that we have as taxpayers to say, hey, should I pay these business expenses this year or mm -hmm. should I wait till next year when my income is higher and vice versa? And frankly, let's be honest, it's less stressful. My yes. wife for so many years is like, Brian, stop waiting to the last minute. <laughs> well, your wife is very smart, giving you some good advice. I agree, it can get very stressful. Brian Levy from BML Wealth Management, thanks again for joining us this morning and for the great advice. Thank you.